Hey, this is Mike. I'm here at Grand Strand Nissan in Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I'm going to leave Victor, Victor's phone number in the description. He's a friend of mine. He works here at Grand Strand Nissan. He's an awesome guy, and he'll hook you up with some awesome vehicles. Um, but, yeah, give him a call. Tell him you saw it on Mike's Car Info on YouTube. So here's the Nissan 2015 Nissan Frontier. Uh, this is a, you know, I guess like a special um, package here. Pro 4X, um, like an off-road type truck. It's four-wheel drive. It has the 4.0 liter V6 with a five-speed automatic transmission. And this one is in white, as you can see. So checking out here the front end. We've got uh, what looks like halogen headlights and fog lights. And it has a pretty sleek design. It's not too overly aggressive looking or, um, you know, tr the, the design is not, uh, what do you call it? Like some trucks are a little bit ridiculous looking. This one is more, I don't know how to explain it. I guess just more pleasing to my eye anyway. It's a good size pickup truck. It's similar to the 2015 Colorado in size. Um, but anyway, it's got 16 inch off-road tires and wheels. You see they're aluminum wheels. And those are hand cooked um, Dynapros on there. Has a pretty aggressive tread there. So they may, uh, they may have a little bit of tread noise, this particular truck. Not really sure. But uh, but this one has the four wheel disc brakes, and it's not like a normal like a regular car um, has uh, ventilated disc brakes in the front. And what it means is the disc has a space between the disc, and there's air can get in there, and um, and and the heat can dissipate. But uh, but they usually on cars just have that on the front, but the back is just some solid you know flat piece of metal for a disc. Uh, but but on this one, it has the ventilated disc brakes on the front and the back. Um, so that way, if you're kind of creeping through some off-road conditions, um, you do have the, um, you know, the, the brakes will have the ability to cool off in the front as well as the back. So here's the window sticker. Sticker here, it's 2015 Frontier Pro 4X. Um, I'm going to put some information in the description, but if you want to use the pause button, you can go ahead and check it out now. This one had the trailer hitch uh, added to it after it received uh, after the dealer received it. So there's an addendum sticker there. Now, uh, Grand Strand Nissan, I don't see a lot of addendum stickers unless it's actually something added. Uh, some dealerships will add an addendum sticker, and it has a bunch of junk on there that you may not even want. Um, you know, they might charge a thousand dollars for some wax job or something like that. So really pay attention to the uh, the addendum stickers when you're buying a vehicle. All right, so let's go ahead and check out here in the front. Oops, it's locked. Let me get the key out. Kind of did it on purpose because I wanted to show you what the key looks like. It has a regular key here and then a separate key fob, unlike some of the other Nissans. And uh, so basically, you can lock and unlock the door. So I'm going to go ahead and unlock everything. And um, so let's go ahead and open the door here. Solid black on the inside on the door. It's all hard plastic. Um, there's nothing, you know, a little tiny bit of softness here, but it's really, um, my guess is that it's made to be easily cleaned. Like, say, if you get dirt and mud all over it, you can easily wipe it off. It's more durable when it's this, um, this hard plastic. And, uh, you do have the cloth, uh, cloth seats, but also the carpet floor mats. And I would... I would actually re recommend um, getting the rubber slush mats for this truck. Um, Nissan sells them in the parts department, so you could check that out. Because especially if you're, even if you're not even going to be using the off-road that much, it really is handy to have the slush mats in a truck. Um, you know, because you never know. I mean, it it really helps out with the carpet. If you got carpet and in a truck, you will definitely want to check out the slush mats. Um, the heavy-duty off-road. Uh, I don't know how to explain it. I'll have to show you one day. But anyway, uh, you see them in other videos that I make. But anyway, here's the seat. It does have like a, a sport off-road look to it. 
and uh, it's a little bit of a grip here um, material and then you got smoother material here so it kind of helps you uh, stay the bolsters kind of you know keep you stabilized there same thing on the back and then you got the Pro 4X badge there and bordered in the back of the seat little tiny glove compartment I mean really tiny compared to, uh, to some but you do have a little bit more space up here and another little tiny one so uh, so there you go there does have a grab handle in case you need to you know jump up in there you don't have any step on this one I guess you can put one on it if you want so this is a you know back door full you know full back door on this truck there's no little half doors or anything and uh, so this has got the handle here and it's got the the bench seat that is a split 60 40 split seat and um, pretty good amount of leg room there this folds down and you got some cup holders now this seat does lift up Let's see if I can do this one handed there we go this lifts up and um, once it's up you see it's got this storage pocket and like a net over top of it so you can put stuff in there and it kind of stays in there now Nissan's put in a, um, a first aid kit already in there so kind of helps out I don't know if it's got what it's got in it band-aids or bandages or whatever now I noticed this unless I'm doing it wrong let me try this again hold on a second yes okay there I have to really you have to really shove it and it'll stay in spot and, and it's in place there um, I was trying to hold it and I'm like man this is really not so now it's, it's locked in place and I guess I can release it with this button here Sometimes trying to do things one-handed is a little bit of a pain. Alright, this one does have the mud flaps already on it. On the front and the back. There's the back of it. You can see it has the, uh, the parking sensors. It also has a backup camera. Right up in there. And, um, and there's your hitch that they installed. You got the Pro X badge on Pro 4X on the right, Frontier on the left. Now this one has the factory spray and bed liner um, on this part, and then it's got like a plastic cover here. Uh, it's got these skid plate, these skid plate things here, but this comes off, and you can mount these. Um, it comes with four, I think, of these. These are like uh, removable, adjustable brackets there, to where you can tie down things in different spots. So it's all the way around the edge as well as the floor here. And it's got these covers in case you don't want to use them in the floor you can so you don't scratch stuff, you can put stuff in there. It does have a cargo light there in the back of the bed. Here's the inside of the driver's door. You can see it's the same quality as the other side. Um, but here's the power windows. It does have the regular power windows on all three sides here. And um, so basically, you have to push and hold them. This is the automatic one here. This will, uh, when you push it and hold it down, it'll automatically go all the way down and up. But these, you have to push and hold them. Door locks are right here. And this, when you push that, that locks out these three uh, window controls. So, uh, and only this is the driver's side is uh, is used. So, basically, if you can't roll up the windows, make sure that window that button's not pushed in. There is a uh, manual adjustment here on the seats, and uh, there is some lumbar support here on the driver's seat. Side mirror controls are adjusted right here. Um, you just choose which side you want, and then you can adjust them. This is a downhill descent button. Um, basically, uh, if you want to turn that on, you push that. That's only for off-road use. Uh, if you're going down a steep grade, this loose gravel or, or something slippery. There's the cargo lamp I mentioned before. That's how you turn that on. So let me get the key out. And I'm going to hop in. And I'm going to start it up. Is this a pretty warm day? Alright, so now I got the 
turn the fan down a little bit. I got the uh, the 4.0 liter uh, V6 cranked up. I'm gonna adjust my seat a little bit. Now it does have a um, little bit of a. I mean, it's not tight. It's not really tight for me. I'm about six foot tall, but um, it's not like a. Since it's kind of like a small truck, you know, like a mid-sized truck, I guess you could say, it's with the seat all the way back, um, it's about just right. It doesn't give you a little bit, there's not really an extra room there. So that's with me anyway. Um, if you're really tall, then you definitely want to, uh, you know, sit in the driver's seat and make sure it's going to work for you, um, especially if you've got long, long legs. But, uh, but right, you know, it does have a place to put your foot there on the left, a flat spot. So, I mean, when I'm sitting in here um, with the seat all the way back and adjusted, it's comfortable, but there's not a lot of extra room there. So just to let you know about that. So I guess you need to get a, like a Titan or something if you're really tall. Anyways, here's the steering wheel. It is a leather wrap steering wheel. It's got the little dimples on the ends uh, for more grip, and it gives you like a sportier look. Cruise control is on this side, and on this side, you got your volume control, radio up and down. This one's got the 10 speaker Rockford Fosgate sound system, which is awesome. And uh, just to avoid um, copyright issues, I'm not going to really play the music. I don't even know what it's playing, but it sounds really good. Anyways, um, there's your, once you pair your Bluetooth phone, you can answer and make calls there. It does have voice recognition. And um, so there's your gauges. It has the, the light, white background so you can see them good. And it's kind of like a sportier look. And it's telling you that we're in two wheel drive right here, that little image there. So, and all, also these buttons here, when you push mode, that's just kind of cycling through you know, AM, FM, satellite radio, that kind of stuff. And, uh, and then you can, you know, you can cycle through stuff here with this, this button that goes up and down. It does have automatic headlights um, right there where you can turn the headlights on. Windshield wipers are on that side. And you get a little pocket, real shallow storage pocket there. Um, definitely not going to, I don't think that's really good for like a phone or something. Let me just see. Get my phone out. I got a Samsung Note 4. And yeah, that's not going to really work because it's going to slide around and get knocked down or take off and it's going to come flying out. So that's not a good place for the phone. So anyways, uh, this is the, your your five, a little bit over five inch touchscreen here. And you've got your satellite radio. It does have a CD player. Um, it does have auxiliary input, which I'll show you in a minute. Uh, navigation, this is this button on this side you can put in a street address or you can save your home address if you just want to view the map um, you can view the map there and see where you're at and you can you know zoom in and out that stuff like that um, and this does have a backup camera so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in reverse with the shifter there and when I push uh, this camera button it's gonna add or take away those little lines there to kind of give me an estimated distance away from what I'm backing into but you can see the bumper here from the bumper all the way up almost to the sky there it is a wide angle lens so you can back right up to a, a trailer hitch or uh, avoid hitting things that kind of stuff putting it back in park it, the camera goes away now it does have uh, these cool apps like um, travel link so you can get all kinds of information there one of my favorite things especially if you're uh, in an area you're not familiar with is the, the the fuel prices you can sort it by distance or price and you can actually push it and it'll take you to the navigation screen and take you right there so it's a pretty neat feature um, I've used it before when I was out of town in another vehicle Travelink is awesome uh, for traveling <laughs> it's really good handy you may not use it all the time but when you when you really need it it's really useful this button here is to adjust your nighttime um, screen to where it's dimmer at nighttime and then versus daytime. There's your Bluetooth phone button there. Change to the tracks is there. You can hit the back button and go back out of certain screens with this back button there. And uh, turn through the stations. You got the volume on that side. Climate controls here. You got a dual zone, passenger, driver, 
and uh, you can actually sync them by turn off dual and then it basically syncs them so uh, you can have dual fan speed is there air conditioning where you want the air to blow or whether you want outside air or inside air that kind of stuff so down here this is your full drive control and it is a um, it is a shift on the fly so like you're driving down the road you can uh, go ahead and put it in full drive high um, now if you wanted to you know put it in full drive low or full drive lock then um, you know, there's another you know basically you want to be going uh, slow or stopped I'm not really sure what the procedure is for four drive low probably stopped in a neutral I'm assuming correct me if I'm wrong please and heated seats are on this side you got your your driver and passenger heated seat button your trash control button there you can turn that off if you want default is on um, your parking sensors in the back like see if it's beeping you're backing up and it's beeping at something and you know you need to get close to something you can always turn it off with that um, with this button here and then there's your four-wheel drive lock that locks it in the four-wheel drive uh, to where you're um, it's not like it's not like you're uh, gonna cycle in and out of four-wheel drive it's gonna be four-wheel drive lock the front and rear wheels you got two power supplies there all right, so uh, so down here is like a pocket down there, and I guess that's your place where you put your phone. Yeah, it fits in there. Um, so that's kind of out of the way. And I guess if you had a smaller phone, you can fit it in here, but mine doesn't fit in there. And there's your shifter. Now you can, besides the um, the backup camera, let's go ahead and put it down here to drive. And basically, if you're in drive, you can actually downshift here here and if you really need to get really low you go over there that's first gear so has that ability to really downshift uh, manually you got the emergency brake there and then you got these cup holders now I'm looking and it looks like yeah these can these smaller inserts come out and then that way you got big cup holders I guess that's where you can put your phone because <laughs> it doesn't really fit in that small one it doesn't really fit in there so that's pretty cool Now this is a new vehicle, so it's got this protective cover, and I, th I would, that's pretty neat. I would actually like to buy one of those if I put it on my um, center console, because it really protects it, and um, you know, at least have an option, you know. But anyway, it's covered up right now. I'm gonna leave it covered up. And in here, there is your auxiliary input, USB import, put, and also a power supply and a storage pocket. But also you got these little little pockets there. It looks like for a business cards or something, which is pretty neat. And a place to put some change. The rear view mirror has a compass and a uh, outside temperature there. It also has a auto dim feature, which you can turn on and off with this button. A place to put your sunglasses, and wow, it's a bit its a bigger pocket than normal. Um, I guess, like, I guess you're gonna wear bigger sunglasses if you drive a truck, maybe. I don't know. Uh, you got some tap lights here. And you can, you know, turn the interior lights on like that. It's got the mirror there, no light. Let's see if this side's got a light. No light on that side either. Let's see what it looks like. There's a manual sliding uh, rear glass there. That's manual though. All right, a um, couple things more I want to show you. Before one thing before the engine. So let's open up this door. And uh, right here in this box, you'll see those extra tie downs I was telling you about in the tr for the back. But also, see if I can do this one-handed again. Uh, all right, under here is the uh, like the subwoofer for the Rockford Fosgate um, speakers. So there's no storage on this side, but there is that big that um, that speaker system there. 
Right here is where you open up the hood. All right, one handed. There it is, V6, 4.0 liter, five speed transmission in the 2015 Nissan Frontier. All right, if you have any questions, let me know. Also, I'm going to leave Victor's uh, phone number and email address in the description. So if you're in Myrtle Beach area or if you're planning on coming down here for a, a, a vacation, um, he can hook you up with a vehicle and you can upgrade. And uh, so when you're finished with your vacation, you can head on back with a new vehicle, upgraded vehicle. So, or you can get more than one. There's no limit. <laughs> Anyways, um, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.